so welcome back to a new video everyone uh, today's video we're going to be discussing how we can ban calories if we're going out you know on a night out on the weekends or we're just going for you know a nice meal or you know maybe you've been dieting for a while and you know you want to maybe have a little bit of a binge there's things we can do around this to, to make sure it's not gonna you know stop our progress or you know get us you know one step backwards rather than progressing and, and keep going to where we want to end up with our with our dieting goals with our physique goals so and what I would advise to do is when we are calculating our you know, daily calorie intake you know it's important that don't stress too much on the daily as long as it's coming up to a certain amount on the weeks on the week like as, as an average on the week so I eat roughly around 2500 each day you know that can go to 24 that can go to 26 I try my best to eat 2500 um, it just depends on the day but what I do do is, so 2,500 times by 7 is 17,500. So, you know, I make sure that I'm staying on that, that amount for the week. So then what we can also do with this is, you know, say we are hitting 25 each day on average. But what we know, say on, on Saturday, because this is what I'm doing on Friday, I'm, which is tomorrow, I'm going to be going out. So what I'm going to be doing is, well, what I have been doing is pulling back the calories. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I've been doing 300 less, I've been eating 2,200. So that's 300 calories times by four days, which is 1,200. So that on, that, on that Friday or that Saturday, whatever day it is you're going out, that gives you an extra 1,200 calories that you can you know, consume in food, or you know, you're gonna be maybe having one or two drinks, I'm probably gonna enjoy a glass of wine as well with me, me food. So that gives me a lot of room to play with. You know, it, it turns that 2,500 that we usually eat to, what's that, 3,700. So, you know, that's quite a lot and, and that will cover the majority of it. You know, plus I'm probably going to be out a bit more, you know, walking a lot more through town, um, maybe dancing a bit. So, you know, I am going to increase my neat levels there as well. So, if it do go to, say, 4,000, I'm not going to be, you know, disheartened and, and sort of want to sort of feeling down because I've had over you know I know what I've done to start of the week to mitigate this and now you know I'm going to enjoy myself I'm not going to focus too much sometimes even though I can get a calorie breakdown on the menu you know I'll look at it in advance and sort of plan what I'm going to eat I won't go overboard with it and I can sort of see where my calories are going to line up there but a lot of sort of companies don't really have that online or at all so it's hard and I don't think the one we're going to does either so you know I'm going to be sensible I'm not going to order the whole menu and go for 10 desserts but yeah I'm going to enjoy myself and, and this is the thing you know you can enjoy yourself when you're, you're dieting it doesn't have to be you know unless you are a bodybuilder in a competition prep or you're a boxer and a weight cut where you know you need to sacrifice these things anyway you don't need to give up everything all the time it's about finding that that ratio of, of days where you and being smart about it really so you know some people will just eat normal all week and then obviously on the weekend binge why just why not just try what i'm doing just pull your calories back and then on the day off on the friday you know i'll i'll fast till say 12 so it gives me a shorter window to eat my calories and then you know i'm going to be doing a hit workout in the morning uh, i do that anyway to be fair um and with my hit workouts and, and my planning as you've seen in my training video i like to change so if i am sort of exercising a lot that day going for a big run hit workouts boxing whatever it is you know i'll eat back some of them calories so usually i'll be on 25 as a base and then 2700 usually um, and then on, on a, a longer run maybe 3000 so but yeah i'm going to be fasting get me hit workout in in the morning straight after work i'm going to finish early i'm going to go to the gym and um, get a bit of a pump you know, get get looking good for a nice polo for the evening and then yeah my first meal is probably going to just be protein and fat so maybe you know a nice chicken 
salads, um, oh, I've got some Nando's sauce there, I can make some nice chicken in, but I'm going to bring the carbs down so we can consume them later on, it's called carb backloading, so that's how I'm going to plan for it, and obviously I'll pick up with you on Friday, which is tomorrow, for the ins and outs, and you can see in effect what I'm doing, and I'll probably do a little breakdown on the screen as well, just to to go into the detail of it and, and bring in the mathematics because you know we know there's a few numbers people out there so i'll see you tomorrow and you know make sure you're planning ahead if you don't plan if you don't prepare prepare to fail so good morning everyone it's friday and um, the day of the meal so what we are well we're going to be hitting a leg session with a bit of conditioning afterwards, bit of kettlebell stuff, um, med ball stuff, you know. Uh, hopefully, I can get some film. Gym won't be too busy, but yeah, the reason we didn't go to hit class today was we done football and boxing yesterday, and both of them were pretty intense. So I had my first spy yesterday uh, in a long while, so it was good. Uh, enjoyed it, and can't wait to get back in. To be fair, just to it's good when you you're not that great at something. I'm not saying I'm I'm fairly alright to be fair. But it, it's good to, to be able to just work on things and you know where you need to improve. Where when you become a good level at certain things, obviously, it, it's very hard to start improving them because you need to take it to the next level. And so, you know, that's why you see a lot of professionals, whether that's football, boxing, you know, they really do struggle with Im improving because it, it's what's needed of them to, to get to that next level because they're already at such a good level. But yeah, um, so probably start going boxing three times a week now, which is gonna up the the uh, calorie expenditure. But we'll break down as well the overall weekly goal and you know how how you can sort of bank your calories to get to where you want to be, um, and how to work them out, which I think I've mentioned in a previous video. But you know it's on topic anyways, and it's so we'll get into it. We're also switched it up today, we're on the rain, Mel and Medley, um, to be fair, it is quite nice and I have had it before on the, the channel, so I'm just wondering what your thought is, I know, I'm, I know there's a lot of sort of monster and energy drink haters out there on my my um, my socials, but you know, give them a go and if you do like them, Know, have you tried the rain and comment down below what you think of it because to be fair it is up there for me um, plus it has you know added caffeine compared to months I think it's an extra 40 milligram so yeah to let us know what your thoughts are and who's the top dog in the energy drink world so that's just my thoughts it's still monster for me but you, you can't beat the white monster but yeah it's nice to switch it up and you know have a di different bit of flavor and every now and again so, as I said, 12 o'clock, first meal in the books. We're just going to have not too fancy, a uh, quick wrap from the Morrisons. If you already know, you know. Um, like 700 calories, these, which, you know, so that takes off to 2,500 we usually go for on a daily basis, which gives us, what, 20, uh, 1,800. But then, obviously, because we've been banking calories over the last four days, say two three hundred you know that gives us another twelve hundred so you know you, you're potentially looking at 3.5 thousand calories for the meal and drinks which i'm not going to be going too crazy on anyway and obviously we are we are going to be getting a gym session in later on so that's how you sort of mitigate the the, the socializing aspect of dieting and even if you do just get into a maintenance for a day it, it's not the end of the world you know what i mean as long as you don't absolutely go overboard and then worse off think oh well i've done that yesterday so i'm just gonna go back to all bad habits and eat crap again like that's not the mindset to have just because you've had one bad meal one bad day let's control it now you know you, you've had it so what it doesn't matter let's move on from it you know all them excess stuff afterwards that's gonna what what you need to get under control to be able to you know at the end of the day, it's self-control, isn't it? You know, you've got to take accountability for it. If you're you're setting yourself a goal to lose weight, no one's saying that you can't have these meals off plan every so often, but, you know, don't let that define you. 
So, as promised people, i uh, just going to take you through just a quick look at the calorie banking system um, and you know how we can do it and the way I do it and obviously show you the numbers to do it. So, first of all, you know, we're going to look at my actual week. So, as I've showed you before in the chain and uh, video, these are my calorie goals here. And I've just done a quick average sum there to just show on average, you know, we're eating roughly around 2,700 calories. So see that's my baseline. Obviously, yeah, I change it in different days given on the output. And obviously you can see, you know, it's quite a high intense day there. So we want more calories, more carbs in the system. Um, and like, obviously throughout the whole thing, we're doing that. But say if I was to go out on the Friday and I knew I was going to consume, you know, an extra 1500 calories for the meal. So obviously the baseline being 2500. So obviously that brings up your average to 2800 per day. So if you wanted to do that times seven, obviously you're looking at. 20,000 calories per week where before and it was only 18,800 so obviously it's increased by that amount so what we would do in this scenario is we want to keep the, the calories the same so if your average is 2,500 what we want to do is reduce the days prior or even after just by a slight amount don't be going crazy don't be eating a thousand calories no one wants to do that it's not good for you it's not healthy for you so got to increase that by four to four thousand that's a I'd, I'd call that enough day before 2800 we'll take that down to 2500 we'll take that down to 2500 we'll take that down to 2400 and then the day after 24 again and I'll take that down to 25 so there you know it took us down to 27 from 26 8 so we're, we're only on average consuming an extra 100 if that what well, you know weren't that so you know across the whole week seven days 700 calories is not the end of the world you know you could burn off more and you could do the same the week after if you wanted to just reduce them or even if you wanted to reduce these days even further obviously with me at the minute training quite a lot i still want to keep my calories as high as possible i'm only in a slight deficit so this will probably take me to maintenance and that's fine for one week it doesn't hinder anything i'm not trying to get in the best shape in my life i'm not trying to do a photo shoot or anything like that so for me this is fine and obviously the way you'd find out what your goal is is just type in being my calculator on on google uh, type your age in obviously mine's completely different to this it might give me a completely skewed figure but we'll go with it roughly 82 and then calculate Right, it's okay, yeah, so there is. <laughs> it usually pops it down below. No. Um, so, 1800 calories is what I burn from just breathing, just by being a human being. Don't have to do anything else, that's just what I burn anyway. But here, obviously, you have your um, expenditure. So, personally, I'd say at the minute, the way I am training, usually I'd say I was here, yeah, roughly around here, 2700. Uh, if I weren't training twice a week because I used to go to the gym five times a week uh, maybe after one or two odd day cardio days but obviously I have a, a desk job so I'm not increasing my heat levels which is something you can manipulate to burn a lot more calories than you think but you know, I'm somewhere around here so if you if you take three, three, 300 calories 500 calories or even that 
you know, we're nearly we're at that that level, you know, twenty seven hundred fine for me. I'm I'm happy with that. But for you, you know, you you might be here, obviously depending on what metrics and stuff you've got, you might be here, so you need to reduce that by three to five hundred calories, depending on if it, if you want to lose you know, a pound or two pounds a week. Um and that might put you on 23, 2400, so obviously you've got to think about where you're reducing your calories from. Obviously, I'm in a good position, body composition wise, and that's why I encourage everyone to get into the gym and lift weights to build you know, a good physique, or eat protein, you know, stay satiated, and, and that's just the basics of it really. And that's how you find out your BMR and, and your maintenance calories, what you should be eating, and obviously these could be inaccurate. You could have been chronically under eating, chronically overeating for a long time, and your metabolism has changed. But that's fine. You know, we we need to just get into a into a phase where we can comfortably, you know, eat from eat a good amount of food. There's no point if if it's coming off for you. You need to eat 1,800 calories to lose a pound a week. I'd strongly advise you to go into a maintenance phase and build a bit of muscle gain a, a good uh, recomposition and then start to lose weight because if you are beginning to the gym you will in turn lose some fat uh, and build muscle at the same time if you are in the maintenance phase so that that's what I'd advise to do and then look to cut once you've built a bit of muscle and once your calories you know, have increased that's my advice so yeah, that is, that's pretty much it what I'll be doing uh, hopefully I can get some footage for you of the food uh, I know there's loads of foodies watching so yeah um, that's going to be it for, for the education side of the video and I'll see you when I, I get there so there we go uh, we'll walk obviously I've got the camera in my hand, so 13 stone around one, say a pound for the camera. But yeah, um, just proves, you know, you can go out and enjoy yourself and not beat yourself up about having a meal off plan, having a few drinks, if you're smart about it. And there we go, good night out. As you can tell, my throat's a bit, you know, dry, a bit sore, but, you know, I feel good. It's only because, you know, if anyone knows me, knows I love a good sing song, so that'll be why. <laughs> But yeah, you know, we get in, we make sure we hydrate. Uh, I've got the electrolyte tablet, so that's one of them in. Got that down me. Uh, and I'll be fully transparent, you know, we got a chicken kebab on the way home, but, you know, we, we left enough room for, for something like that. We was on the, you know, vodka diet cokes all night, so, and to be fair, we didn't drink as much as we would usually um, if it was going out, out, as we say. So yeah, good night, um, good to feel good today as well going to pick the bike up so that'll be included in the next video and you know on that note you know like comment subscribe and you know, keep breaking them boundaries people and i'll see you in the next one